everyone, so today's video is going to be my Christmas guinea pig shed and cage tours for 2015. Now this year I've decided to not go too over the top because I always go way too over the top and it makes it really difficult to clean the shed and keep things on shelves. So I've kind of done the shed quite subtle this year just with a few bits of decorations and I've put a load of things in the cages. I haven't used any of my DIYs in the cages for this video because I have so much, um, so many toys from last year's DIYs and from buying toys over the years. So I wanted to show those in this cage and shed tour, but I will do the odd kind of themed cage tour for one individual cage over the Christmas month so maybe like a gingerbread theme or something like that but today it's just a kind of simple shed and guinea pig cage tour. So on the outside of the door I do have a wreath it's super super windy so I'll show you that really really quickly. So just on the back of the door I haven't put any, anything Christmassy but I've got a few things on the side here. I've got my bottle brush, keys, locks, bolts, scissors, a hay ball and my brush. And then if we go back up to the top I've got this little shelf up here that holds my box of forage. I've got a piggy pig pig sticker and I've got a little heart hanger. So here are the shelves that I have just above Pippin Dolly and Tea Cup's cage. On the top shelf I have this woven tree. The bowl part of it was absolutely demolished by them so I unscrewed that and got rid of it and it's just the tree part that's left. And on this shelf I have my hand sanitizer, radio and books. And then here I've put some tinsel and these star lights. I absolutely love the lights. They're all colourful and I absolutely love them. They go all the way along right to the other end of the shed. I've obviously had to put a few pieces of tinsel because they didn't reach. But um, the star lights reached right to the and end. Then we have Pippin, Dolly and Teacup's cage. On this end of the cage they have their wood bottle, a fiddlesticks bridge and this adorable pudding teddy. They then have their hay rack and hanging off that I've got a star chew and this super cute Santa Claus chew that they were selling at Pets at Home last year. The bedding I'm using is Comfy Bed which is a mixture of Easy Bed and Dust Free Shade. So just over here behind Pippin, he really wants attention today, don't you? You want some attention? He loves being on camera. Don't you Pip? Oh, good boy. But just behind Pippin we've got a couple of trees. So we've got this natural one here that was from Pets at Home last year, I think. We've got this DIY tree that I made in a video last year and I think I called it the Wobbly Tree or something similar. Again, it's all safe for pets. And then under that I've put these two little present chews. And over here we've got one of these reindeer hanging toys that I purchased online and you've probably seen this in lots of cage tours because lots of people have them. And their food bowl for the festive season, I love this, it's a little Christmas dish and it's got a little Christmas picture on it, so it's like a little cottage with someone pulling a sleigh with a horse and I just love that and I got that from TK Maxx. Now this is my absolute favourite part of their cage. This is my Christmas cottage that was made for me by my friend and my dad last year. My dad made it and my friend painted it as a surprise for me. It's a really big house. It's, it's pretty huge and it fits three of them in it really really nicely. Pippin's not doing it any justice at the moment but it's a really big house. You can see there by my hand and it's got a snowman painted here and a little tree here and on the back there is some windows painted on and I'll show you the back later on but I just absolutely love this I've been dying to use it all year I think I got it on Christmas Eve last year so I didn't I wanted to save it for this year but I absolutely love it these three also have a button toss a hanging woven red star some green and red straw and a loofah Santa Claus just by this divider here we've got this little Santa sat on top I did try and balance him on the house I thought it'd be really cute but he was having none of it and get falling off so I've put him there and then have this natural hanging chew toy here and a ceramic Christmas tree just in the corner. These also have this little Christmas rattle that I got from Home Bargains and they tend to really like things like this, soft things that make a noise so I thought I'd go ahead and pop it in. In front of their cage I have this Cool Piggies Live Here. Here's an overview of their cage. So just underneath their cage I have my set of drawers. The top drawer is health. I have a separate video on all of those items. 
The second drawer is food. I've got some treats and some treats there. Fish food for the pond fish and loads of spare bowls. And finally the bottom drawer is full of toys. So this is what the bottom drawer looks like. And in this little shelf here I have a few of my cosy items, my little cosy shelves, my puzzle house and my seesaw and a puzzle toy for then the game. We have a tortoise enclosure that is just here. It goes all the way along and this bit's their little hidey bit and here are all of the plugs. Attached to the tortoise enclosure I have my shed heater and then underneath that I've got my hospital and travel cage. I've got this kind of basket that I got on eBay that I thought would be good to keep in here so that they've got a soft thing to put in if they're if I need to use it as a hospital cage. I also have a towel and a run cover under that and there's a spare water bottle just and there. In between the tortoise enclosure and the cages I have my slide out veggie table that's just here. I've got some knives and my cutting board on there as so well. Here is Dotty Radish and Pumpkin's cage. I've recently done a frozen cage theme with this cage and I'll link that in the description in case you're interested in watching that. I had so much fun putting so it. In this corner here we've got my DIY frozen house. It's not the best of um, houses but well the house is good it's the paintings that are very good and I've got a much better version of this now but I put this one in because it needs to be used and be, needs to be demolished really so I thought I'd put this one in. Behind that we've got a snowflake hanging toy and next to that we have this snowman bowl that I'm using as a food. We have a Christmas tree and heart shaped chew. They also have some red and white straws and this DIY Christmas tree. Woven natural ball. And they also have one of these rattles but a reindeer At version. Back, just here we've got this woven kind of hanging ring or wreath and then this is Polar the snowman. This is one of my DIYs again from last year. There we go, he's the right way around now. But um, he's one of my DIYs from last year and he's quite well chewed. They did really like him. Hello Radish. Then at the back here we've got a Lufa penguin, a Lufa snowman and a couple of snowman chews. Snowman then over on this corner we've got a hay rack. We've got this little soft Christmas tree house that only pumpkin can fit through. And then we've got a ceramic snowman and their large fiddlesticks bridge. And over here we've got their water bottle and another hanging snowflake. Above them they have two shelves. They've got my blue hay wagon up there and some plastic piglos at the and top. Just beside that shelf we've got another shelf and this has got all my soft items in. So in there I've got my piggy pig pigs tunnel and my piggy pig pigs pig one. Then I have a hay rack just here, some hay barrels and my little buckets that I use from time to time to separate the veggies. Under that I keep my disinfectant and another and hay On the side here I've got all my plugs and night light, I've got my whiteboard pen, my Christmas calendar, my whiteboard and a little snow. And here's Duffy, Sooty and Casper's cage. So their cage has got all the sweet themed toys. Down here they have their heart shaped pellet bowl and they've eaten all the pellets. We've got this natural hanging toy here. Just by Duffy there, behind the water bottle, we've got a ceramic Christmas pudding and a load of gingerbread men. Just the gingerbread men, we have a hanging Christmas toy and the hay rack. And under the hay rack, we've got these chew toys that says Noel. And these were actually, if Duffy and Casper move out the way, they were actually a hanging toy that I got about three or four years ago from Pets at Home. It's really, really well chewed and it's lasted quite a long time to be fair. But um, it's now broken and all the pieces fell off so I just thought I'd put them in and they can finish destroying. They also have this adorable little Christmas pudding chew in the middle of Just at the side here they've got this ceramic little house that looks kind of like a, a Christmas cottage or a gingerbread house. And at the side of the cage they've got this natural Christmas tree that I got from Pets at Home last year, hanging donut chews and all the rest of the chews from the hanging toy that broke and they kind of look like little presents so I thought I'd pop them underneath and hiding under the hay over there is just a little Christmas tree chew as well and at the back of their cage you can kind of see they've got a fiddlesticks bridge and a Christmassy rope chew. Underneath their cage is where I put our little shed Christmas tree now this we um, we didn't get but we got last year it was actually our Christmas tree decoration, it's like a fibre optic tree that we had in our house for years and years and years and years and years but it's broken so instead of throwing it out last year I decided to use it in the shed as a little Christmas tree for decoration. It's too big 
big to go on any shelves unfortunately so I've popped it here in the corner where it's out of the way. We've got a few Christmas presents under here and we've got a stocking that's also full of Christmas presents. I've now put hooks along the front of this cage so that I can keep all of my hanging toys there to keep them all together because they tend to get in the way in the toy drawer and they're hard to get to and pull out so it's nice to have them somewhere I can reach and behind the Christmas tree I've got some spare houses and, and on the shed wall I've got my initials for Lubu Shed Tzu. Up here I've got a decoration, a brush and a little I also have my spare metal run down at the bottom of the shed. Hanging on the top beam of the shed I've got a decoration, I've got this toy that I got last year from the Christmas Pets at Home range. I've got another decoration there and another toy I got last year from Pets at Home and also a heart at and the end. here's another overview of the shed, the Christmas shed tour for 2015. So that's my Christmas guinea pig shed tour and cage tours for this year. I will do some separate cage tours with themes because the Christmas I mean it's very very messy I know the Christmas items are just kind of placed in but I want to do kind of separate things like I did with the frozen cage tour because I think you can put more effort into it and it's much easier but I hope you enjoyed it anyway you'll be seeing lots more of the Christmas shed this year through Plogmas which is my like Vlogmas but it's all in one video on a weekly basis and it will be uploaded every Sunday so hopefully you'll enjoy that and look out for all of my other DIY videos and last year's DIY videos and reviews and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, remember to comment, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and everything like that and I'll see you very soon. Bye everyone.